Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Christy, and it is that time, time to get cooking. Today, I am making a delicious casserole, a country ham and corn casserole. Oh my goodness, guys, this one is so delicious, and it is super, super easy. It's also a perfect recipe if you have some leftover ham, it's a great way to use that up. It's one of those recipes that you just dump all of the ingredients in a bowl, mix it together, pour in a baking dish, and then bake in the oven. And then you've got your casserole. Now, I have been kind of doing a raid through all of my recipes, trying to come up with some new ones for you guys. And I came across this one and I'm excited to share it with you. Let me go over these ingredients with you and show you just how to make it. You will need one and a half cups of diced ham and one and a half cups of a shredded cheese. Now this is a Mexican blend, but you could use sharp cheddar, mild cheddar, whatever you prefer. Then a half of a stick of butter that we will melt, three eggs, around a fourth of a cup of chopped green onions, and then you will need one can of the southwestern corn. Sometimes you'll see it as a Mexicorn. It just has your peppers in with the corn, and then you'll need a can of cream corn and then you will need a box of your favorite uh, cornbread mix and that can be any any kind that you want i'm just using this aldi brand it's a gluten-free i actually love this this cornbread mix but like i said any will work so i've got a large mixing bowl here and like i said guys i am literally going to dump all these ingredients into this bowl starting with my cornbread mix I'm going to add my cream corn and my southwestern corn, my green onions, my three eggs. I'm going to add my diced ham. And then I'm going to add this butter that I have melted. And then I'm going to add about a half of a cup of this cheese. Now the rest of it I'm going to leave for the top. And I'm just going to mix this all together. So my baking dish is around a seven by 11, so it's a little bit smaller than a nine by 13. I am going to spray it with some nonstick spray. Then I'm going to pour my corn mixture into my baking dish. Okay, so now I'm going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 35 minutes. Take it out, sprinkle the rest of my cheese on top, and then bake it for an additional five minutes. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Wow, this is so good, guys. And that ham, the ham and corn, they go together beautifully. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. God bless, and I will see you soon with more delicious recipes.